In this task, you'll be looking at the metadata section of spatial data. When data is purchased or downloaded from an organization or an agency, we expect to have a complete data set. This includes the spatial data and the attribute data, along with the metadata. Metadata is data about data, and is the one sure way we can understand the source, how a data set was created, what scale it was created at, what the spatial reference is, what kinds of accuracy we can expect, and so on. All data sets have some error associated with them. After all, they're simplified models of the real world, not the real world. We need to be able to determine if a data set's accuracy and scale is acceptable for our project. So here I have QGIS Desktop open with the U.S. Census Metropolitan Areas of New Mexico shapefile loaded. As you've seen in previous labs, I can open the layer properties and go to the Metadata tab to see some basic information regarding the layer. This is more like basic features of the layer rather than the actual metadata. Metadata is a U.S. federal standard maintained by the Federal Geographic Data Committee. One of the files that composes a shapefile is a metadata file. It can take several forms, text, HTML, or XML. These can be opened in a text editor or in a web browser. However, there's also a QGIS plugin to read and edit metadata called MetaTools. So I'm going to close the layer properties for this and I'm going to install this MetaTools plugin. I'll go to the plugins menu, manage and install plugins. I need to go to the settings tab and make sure that show experimental plugins is checked because this is going to be an experimental plugin. Then I'll switch to the All tab, and I'll type in Meta until I find the Meta Tools plugin. So I'll select it and click Install Plugin. Okay, so the plugin was installed successfully. So I'll go ahead and close the Plugin Manager. So although this is an experimental plugin, it is well conceived and very useful. It loads a toolbar with several tools on it. If you're on a Windows computer, the Python console needs to be open for the plugin to operate. So I'll click the Python console, I'll click the help button, and I'll make sure my layer is selected, and I'll click on the view metadata button, and the metadata viewer opens. Across the top of the metadata viewer, you'll see these six tabs. These correspond to the six major sections of the FGDC metadata standard, which are identification information, which includes the data title and abstract, data quality information, which is information about the accuracy and precision of the data, including the processing steps taken to produce it, the spatial organization, which is information about the file format, Spatial reference information, which is the coordinate reference system, including projection, coordinate system, datum, and other parameters. Entity and attribute information, which are explanations on the field types and data contained within each attribute column. And finally, distribution information, which is contact information for the data provider. So I'll scroll down here and I'll click on description, which provides an abstract and purpose for the data. This viewer isn't completely parsing the metadata file. Hopefully future versions of this plugin will improve this area. For example, if I click on the data quality section, it's blank. So let's take a look at the raw XML metadata file in a web browser. So I have this open in Microsoft Internet Explorer. And this is certainly harder to look at than the parsed display in the MetaTools viewer. But fortunately, all metadata records have the same sections in the same order. So once you're familiar with the structure of a metadata record, it becomes pretty easy to find things. So first we see the abstract, which we were just looking at. I'll scroll down past that until I find the data quality section, which is right here. This section contains the logical consistency report, which details the test used to determine the data quality. Slightly farther down, I'll find the attribute section with these ATTR tags. And this section details all of the attribute columns. So often in a data set, Column names will be truncated and short, and this is where you can go to determine what is contained in each attribute column. Now I'll bring up QGIS Desktop again. I'll close this viewer, and I'll click on the Edit Metadata button. If I expand this metadata tag, you'll see the six FGDC metadata sections. So this tool can be used to edit a metadata file. I can expand data quality, for example, and I see the logical consistency report and I could add to this if I needed to. 
So I'll close this. There are also import and export metadata buttons, which allow you to save out a copy of the metadata. Many organizations will set up a metadata template with items that will be the same from metadata file to metadata file, such as contact information. If you have such a template, you could use the import tool to import the metadata template into the MetaTools viewer. The metadata editor can then be used to complete the record. In the next task, we'll work on data aggregation.